Today's chat is going to be all about expectations, particularly in regard to the new content we are going to be receiving June 12th. If you're not great at math or we're bad at time, that's two days from now on Wednesday. Also, I have a question for you at the end, so stay around for that. Typically, I advise you to temper your expectations and keep a level head the majority of the time. I also typically try to push away from and distance myself from those who only speak up when it's time to complain for some attention. Today will be... a little different. No, I will not be aligning with them, but I intend to set a standard here. Usually, I try to give as much breathing room as I can to the developers because I understand that they need time to get their ducks in a row and they are under a lot of pressure. However, as of the last few days, we have been promised massive improvements to the game we have all come to love. I will get into what specifics we are currently aware of in a moment, but I would like to say before everything else, if they do not deliver, I refuse to hide my disappointment. The upcoming improvements have been noted to be, in their words, the biggest changes to touchdown thus far. Apparently, there's over 100 points of tinkering. With that in mind, I have set my expectations higher than they have ever been, and that feels like a fair assessment. These expectations are still reasonable for the time frame they have been allotted, and I will vent my frustration should they not be met. I will not be mad, but I will most certainly be disappointed. First and foremost, I want this to finally feel like I am playing a completed project and not beta testing for collision errors that have been present since launch. Just as we were all told not too long ago by executives, the grace period has ended. You're no longer getting massive leeway because it's new. They have had both ample time and resources to prepare, and I expect it to feel that way, as should you. There should also be an expectation for the decline of game crashes. My friends and I shouldn't have to play with the expectation that we are going to be removed several times in a single game through no fault of our own without warning. Speaking of friends, there had also be a fix to the nonsense that is the current state of our friends lists, because half of the time when you attempt to add somebody, your only options are reporting or blocking them. This is a massive problem as this is touted as a multiplayer experience primarily. I'm assuming this was on the list of fixes on account of them mentioning invite-only lobbies being implemented, and what good is an invite-only lobby if you can't invite or add any friends, but what do I know? Yes, I'm sure there's absolutely problems that I've glossed over during this, but that's where you come in later. I'm also briefly going to voice some concerns pertaining to some of the new changes I've seen in the works. I'm hesitant about seeing both of these changes this closely together for a variety of reasons, but primarily due to the implications I think they may have in the future. I'm likely going to cover this more in depth on Wednesday or Thursday when I get my hands on the patch notes, but consider it a teaser trailer for the time being. They have confirmed that they will be reverting patrol rates to the original values after having tried to tweak them and breaking either math or the English language in their original description on the intention of the change. This means that the game gets easier across the board, which I generally see as a negative, but Helldive wasn't that hard with the changes that increased the numbers anyway because more enemies barely equates to more difficulty. There will also be an introduction of super samples being brought into level 6. It's not diminishing the rewards for higher players, and anyone who regularly plays red levels has no shortage of super samples in general, but uh, I don't want it to become one of those slippery slope kind of issues. It's catering to the people who struggle doing high levels, and giving them super samples, which is fine in this case because it's only samples, so who really cares? The concern or hesitancy that comes into play is if this sort of for those who can't mentality expands into gameplay and equipment leading to a lowering of skill ceiling and dissolving of challenge in general, but I would have to see more coddling to feel like it's an issue that needs to be addressed further than I have here. 
As far as weaponry goes, I've got no idea what to see coming because the community is as divided as it can be on how difficult things should be, but uh, I can take a guess. We're probably going to see many things get sizable buffs because they're now basing balance upon feel instead of solely number value. This only tells us something because last we checked in, the devs weren't exactly the all-star team when it came down to playing. However, Johan being the creative director and all may help keep things relatively in check. Uh, we can but hope. We're also getting hit in the face with a war bond the very same day as well. This brings me into our final segment. If I drop two videos in a single day, you're only going to be notified of one at most, if that, because YouTube isn't very fond of my video notifications. So, you've got a few options to decide between. I can talk to you about the patch notes on Wednesday and go in-depth about the changes that will result because of them, and I can give you the War Bond review on Thursday. I can also flip the script, give you the review Wednesday, and the notes on Thursday. Or, I can do it all at once, some uh, giant clusterfuck of information that will probably give you an aneurysm. By default, I'm going with option one, because it seems like people want patch notes, as it feels like this one in particular takes a bit of priority over a war bond. God forbid they release them separately, and I could do one video each separate day, but that's not the reality we live in, unfortunately. So, you go ahead and tell me what you would like to see, or maybe I end up throwing a community poll up on the channel to see where feelings line up. You can also go ahead and tell me what improvements you're hoping for in the comments if you're so inclined. As always, if you want good people to play with, feel free to hop in the server link in the channel so long as you're old enough. That about wraps it up for today. Stay safe and have a good night.